थरपारकर सिंध पाकिस्तान Assalamu alaikum and hello everyone. Today's video is all about the third desert in Pakistan, which is the 17th largest and only fertile desert in the world. We will take you on a desert safari to experience the magic of the most fascinating sand dunes. We will also get up close and personal with beautiful Thari residents, learning lots about their daily life in the desert. So make sure you watch this video right up to the end because it is jam packed with the most interesting and unusual facts about Thar. Before we start I would like to thank you all for your continued support and ever so lovely feedback. Each comment, each like and of course each subscriber is so very special to us. Thar Park is also known as Thar It is the largest district in Sindh Pakistan. The headquarters are based in Mithi, which became the capital of the district in 1990. The name Thar Barkar is a combination of two words. Thar referring to the Thar desert and Barkar meaning to cross over. Thar Barkar was once lush green and very fertile. About 1 million years ago before the desert was formed, The region was watered by large rivers as big as the Indus and Ganga. It used to receive heavy rainfall also and crops flourished. Powerful winds and these rushing rivers and streams carried sand, clay or silt, depositing them in the region and thus the desert began to form. The process of desertification of this once fertile region occurred between 2000 and 1500 BC. The district has a tropical desert climate. The maximum temperature reaches up to 45 to 50 degrees during summer and minimum temperature remains at 3 to 10 degrees Celsius during winter months. The district has the largest Hindu population in Pakistan. 41% of the total population of Thar Barkar is Hindu and the rest are Muslim. The Thar desert is the 17th largest and only fertile desert in the world. It has the most rare species of flora and fauna with almost 100 different plant species. These include drought resistant trees that grow all year round. Some of the plants and shrubs have great medicinal properties also. The most prominent animals found in the Thar desert are snakes, camels, peacocks, cats and tigers. These animals can survive in the heat and go without water for days. They can even live without green vegetation. Illegal hunting has been a constant threat to the wildlife of Thar. It is a big challenge the government is facing. The illegal capturing of the black scorpions has also been a problem. A 50 gram black scorpion is worth several lakhs in the black market. This is due to the medicinal properties of its venom. The main source of income here in the desert is livestock. This includes camels, goats, sheep, cows, donkeys and mules. In addition to providing dairy products, These animals provide a good cash return when sold in the local markets.
Mules are used to carry water from the wells and water plants also. Another interesting thing we came across was camel hair art. Beautiful and intricate designs are made on the body of the camel by using henna to dye the hair and carving it with different tools. We were lucky enough to spot some and capture them in the form of pictures. It is called Gulgari in Urdu language. Almost 80% of Tharparkar is rural and inaccessible by car. The people of Tharparkar live in gopas, which are mud houses with thatched roofs. Most of the villages have no electricity. The Thari women are the most hard-working women in Pakistan. Behind the brightly coloured clothing and fancy ornaments are women of strong physiques hardened by strenuous chores. These women make the most beautiful and ornate handicrafts in the world. Unfortunately, they only receive a small fraction of the huge profits their products make in the national and international markets. Thari people are predominantly vegetarian. Some of the herbs, fruits and vegetables they consume daily grow naturally in the desert but only after receiving ample rainfall. This is why they eagerly wait for rain. Some popular Thari dishes made with these food crops are Gwar Bhaji Singrian Ji Bhaji Singrian Jo Rabro and Keran Ji Bhaji Pickles are also prepared from fruits and flowers of Ker. Sattu and Lola are festive dishes prepared on popular festivals Tij and Tadri. To visit Tharparka was a dream come true. We started our journey from Karachi. After leaving Karachi, it took us about six and a half hours to reach our first destination, Chor by car. The road conditions are great and the beautiful colourful trucks will keep you accompanied on the Karachi Hyderabad motorway. Chod is about 325 kilometers from Karachi. It was our abode for the night. In the morning we went for the desert safari. We decided to get down and dirty in the sand. The sun was right above us and its rays were making the particles of the sand sparkle. The sand dunes offered a breathtaking view. It was like a scene from the movies. As we were all enjoying and posing for pictures, some local Hindu children walked up to us. 
Upon our request, they took us home to meet their family. To my delight, they lived in the traditional gopas. We were desperate to see what they looked like from the inside. This was that moment I had been waiting for. They had a joint family system. Grandfather and grandmother were at home with two young women, Kavita, Hastu, and a number of children, whilst men were out at work. They all gathered around us looking intrigued, happy and surprised. The women were extremely friendly. They showed us around and were more than happy to pose for the camera. The women look beautiful in their traditional and colourful saris. They wore red bindis, a round dot on their forehead and mangal sutras around their necks. I praised their beautiful clothes in my broken Sindhi language. We were told that married women wore huge white bangles right up to their shoulders and unmarried women wore them on their wrists only. Some of them wore coloured as well. One of the ladies had a week old baby. It was all wrapped up and fast asleep in its cradle which was kept inside the hut. When we entered the gopa, our noise woke up the baby, and my goodness, what a loud voice came out of that tiny little body. <laughs> we quickly rushed out and mum put the baby back to sleep again. Hello. <laughs> They were extremely kind and they asked us to stop for tea, but we were running out of time as we had to reach our next destination, Nagar Parkar. Thank you for watching today's video. Stay tuned to continue your virtual journey across Pakistan with us. We really look forward to reading your comments, so please don't hesitate. We would love to hear what you thought about today's video. And do subscribe if you are new to this channel. Goodbye till next time. Stay safe and Allah Hafiz.